Daytime baseball here on MLB Network should be a fun Father's Day matchup between the New York Yankees and the Toronto Blue Jays. Live baseball here on MLB Network and it comes your way next. Trent Thornton, a right-hander from the Keystone State, gets the ball as the starter in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? You know, Matt, I think this guy really is looking for a redeemer in this one. Went into the sixth inning in this last start, couldn't quite get out of the sixth, end up taking the loss, and I'm sure that hurt, and he's expecting a lot more out of himself in this start here today. Settling in now, DJ LeMayhew, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. DJ LeMayhew. First delivery to him on the way. Underway now in the Sunday finale as the game's first pitch is taken for ball one. And Dan DeRoe, the Blue Jays, as they enter play here this afternoon, they come in in the midst of a stretch where they've dropped six of their last nine. Yeah, Matty, this is the big one right here. They split the first two games of this series. You want to steal one right here and be feeling good about yourself. Yeah, Dero, I think one of the things you want to do, you get to the third game, you'd like to win this series and finish it off by winning game three. It's always nice to win a series, whether it's at home or on the road. So this is a big one for this ball club. And it's two balls and two strikes now. And this is swung on and missed on a great pitch that time. And the leadoff man is down on strikes to get this one started. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind 2-0 to start the at-bat. That's a pretty bad place to be. But then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do. But now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. One and one to Tommy Lastella. And set up working the plate is Matthew Ross as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there. Well, Devo, you better be ready to swing with Matt Ross behind the dish. Big zone. Yeah, you know coming into this one, you better pull the trigger. If something's close, Matt Ross is going to punch your ticket. This pitch is popped up. Abreu waits on it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. He's yet to get into the hit column in the series. 0 for 7. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Lays off 1 and 0. Bases are empty here with two men out. Good tailing action there. It's 1 and 1. Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. Only one strike away from throwing a very strong first inning to begin the ball game. He looks sharp. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. And strike three called as he says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. So the Yanks go one, two, three. Nothing for the Yankees in their first. The Blue Jays first set of swings next on MLB Network. Garrett Cole will be the starter in this one for the Yankees. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, we're looking at a real solid starting pitcher right here. You take a look at that ERA, anywhere between three and a half and four, but I'll tell you what he does know how to do. He knows how to get people out, and he can minimize the damage. He knows how to control the running game. He does a lot of things right, and if he does all those things, expect a real solid performance in this one. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind nothing in two. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Hey, I get it. He wants to set up that breaking ball down and away, but that 0-2 fastball wasn't even close. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. 
Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. What I like about that strikeout, guys, is that he came back with a fastball on 2-2. Two and two. He was heading to count 0-2 oh earlier, but instead of continuing to nibble a little bit, he decided to get aggressive again and to challenge with his hard stuff. Back-to-back -back strikeouts in the first right here. Pitcher is set in a tone pound in the zone. And that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one-out hit. That's what you want the guys at the top of the order to do. Set the table for the Monsters, 3-4-5. Nice piece of hit. Digging in now, Jose Abreu. And he's been tearing the cover off the ball these past few days, as you see there. And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0-1. And that's up in the zone a bit, but a called strike. 0-2. Oh Nothing in two count. And the pitch. And a fastball. Blew it right by him, and there are two down. So the big bat of Miguel Sano digs in next. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Ball one to start the at-bat. Bichette, the runner at first with two gone. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. Skied into straightaway right. Gardner is there. And that retires the side. He played an inning. No score here on MLB Network. Into the box, Aaron Judge. And he enters play today, currently fifth in the American League in hitting. What a season this guy's having. He's right up there among the RBI leaders, and he's awfully dangerous with runners on base. Here comes the first pitch. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0 and 1. He got a swing and a miss on that last pitch, but that's not the location he wants to live in against a hitter of this quality. Cold strike on the outside part of the plate, 0 and 2. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. My man on the mound has just got great strikeout stuff working for him these days. Looking back at his last start, he racked up nine Ks, and now he's looking like he can put up similar numbers in this one. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. As he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. And did he hold up in time? A look down, and no, he went around. It's strike three. Well, his stuff looks electric coming out of the gates in this one, guys. That's five batters faced, four strikeouts. That's going to be a tough pace to keep up, but it looks like he has what it takes to work deep into this game. Digging in, Giancarlo Stanton. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. First offering on its way. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Man, that's seven straight strikes to start this inning. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. If he doesn't shorten his swing up right there, there's no chance he keeps his bat back. And a good eye as he lays off, and the count moves to two and one now on the Yankee left fielder. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. Brett Gardner would be next. And he struck him out. So a fine inning here as he strikes out the side in order. One, two, three, go the Bombers. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score.
ready to go for the last half of the inning. And that brings up the big bat of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Here's the first pitch to him. And a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. That's why this guy is great. Never misses over the heart of the plate. It's got electric stuff, but pinpoint. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. And he's going to make the catch on the warning track. A fine running play there for the first out. Stepping into the box, Lourdes Guriel. And he's been a tough out these past couple of weeks as the numbers there tell you the whole story. Here's the first pitch to him. And that's high for a ball, 1-0. That evens it up one and one. Fouled off. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Well, there's the great equalizer, the changeup, El Cambio. Listen. If you can keep that pitch in your back pocket and pull it out when you need it, like he did right there, usually hitters, they don't stand a chance. Into the box, Reese McGuire. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. No swing on the knuckle curve, even at one and one. Hit back up the middle. A right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. We'll move to the third with no score. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. First offering on its way. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches and when he's getting the ball in the zone he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Here it comes on three and oh. Good pitch there had him a little out in front. This lineup is flailing right now. They're having a hard time just making contact let alone putting the ball in play. And he lays off their ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. They haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. Digging in, Gary Sanchez. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. From the stretch. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. Down the left field line and deep, and this will wind up a foul ball. Working for the punch out and the offering. And a swing and a miss as he picks up yet another strikeout. Six of them already, and there's one gone in the inning. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him, and watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. In now, Aaron Hicks. And yes, he'll take a look at ball one. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. Is put in play to the right side of the infield.
the 1 1 is swung on and missed for strike number two. Hey that's the modern game right now north south elevate that high fastball and bury stuff in the dirt completely different from the east west we came up playing two balls and two strikes to Hicks now the 2 2 and he tried to hold up that time we'll get an appeal down to third and no swing it's ball three he's set here's the three and two and he is in complete control now seven strikeouts as this is swung on and missed for the second out boy this guy has really good stuff so far on this one how about seven K's and we're just in the middle innings of this one if he continues this up this could be a real solid performance. Here's the second baseman D.J. LeMayhew as the first pitch misses to him it's ball one he was a strikeout victim to open up the ball game timing just to tick off there is this one's fouled off to the right LeMayhew is unlike many of today's hitters in the sense that he doesn't have a lot of swing and miss in his approach at the plate more often than not he gets contact and I'm sure that makes him a frustrating hitter to face from a pitcher standpoint. You know he takes his chances when he has count leverage without question 1 0 2 0 you'll see this guy try and get nasty a little bit but he stays within himself he knows what his strengths are and he tries to drive the ball right back where it came from the Yanks leave one home half of the third coming up no score. Welcome back as the Blue Jays look to get their bats going in the third inning and you can say they've been trying to do that pretty much all year. One coach told me before the game there are certainly plenty of areas for us to improve offensively but first and foremost we need to start by putting the ball in play more often. There's too much swing and miss in our game and the stats do back that up as they currently rank near the bottom of the league in strikeouts so that appears to be an area of emphasis going forward guys. All right thanks Heidi. Here's Randall Gritchick. He was one for four with a triple in the ball game last night. First pitch coming. Here it is. Lifted down the line and left. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. The wind up and the 0 1. And here's a fastball on 0 2 but it misses one and two now. Boy he sped him up in this at bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at bat. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Kevin Biggio comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Oh. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Mm, fooled him with that one as he's way out in front. Fouled away. The one two. Yeah you could tell he was ready for another fastball but the pitcher went to breaking ball and the hitter just fouls that one off. And he'll try to get him fishing there but he won't offer in the dirt and it's back to even at two and two. And this is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already and there are two gone in the inning. Man I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate challenge pitch and for me personally watching hitters swing and miss man that's a sight of beauty so now to the plate Jonathan Davis as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one 
He was a strikeout victim in his first try. And it's fouled away. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Line drive to center field. And that'll get down for a two out single. Good work in a pitcher's count to get on base and keep the inning alive. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Blue Jays go down in order. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring in Tommy LaStella to bat next. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. and oh. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue, or does somebody score here? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. Nice piece of hitting right there. Didn't try and do too much. Fastball middle cut places it right back where it came from. At the plate, Labor Torres, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. These are the moments in the game that can sway it one way or another while you get a W or a loss right here. Leadoff man on, heart of the order coming up. Guy out on the mound, this guy's work cut out for him. And that's too high, ball two. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. And here's a slider for a cold strike. A runner at first with no outs here. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. And he rings up another one. Make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. So a runner at first with one out now. And that'll bring up the former American League Rookie of the Year, Big Aaron Judge. He's set and the pitch. The 0 1 pitch. Now a drive by Judge. Deep left field. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. All rise, Aaron Judge. A two run shot and even 30 home runs on the year. And this is now a two to nothing lead for the Yankees. I know height sights 2020, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday. So you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. Here's Miguel Andujar now. So he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now here's the pitch. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. To two balls and two strikes now. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full three and two here. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. Now a half swing, but it's strike three anyway, says the home plate umpire, and that's out number two. Giancarlo Stanton now. 
as he'll watch a slider that stays inside for ball one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. And there's a base hit on the line. So the two out base hit and the top of the inning is still alive. And now time will be called here as you see the pitching coach making his way out to the mound to pay a quick visit. Here's Brett Gardner now as he takes a cold strike at the knees it's 0 and 1. Hey, it's not always about filling up the strike zone all the time, every inning. He's pitching well as we're moving into the middle innings, but interestingly, less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. Two runs, three hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. And oh, look out! Up and in and nearly took his head off. Wow, fastball up and in. I'm not sure it was intended to be that far up and that far in. But message sent. Beware. Fly ball out to straightaway right. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And that ends the inning. The Yankees get a couple on the two run home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now 2 0 New York. Bottom of the inning now. And into bat next, the legacy Bo Bichette. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Breaking ball called just a bit low. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here. Capitalize on the momentum his batters have. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. The one two. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. And this one is gone. A home run. So a solo shot here to left center field. Number 13 for him on the year. And the Blue Jays are on the board. It's now a 2 to 1 ball game. If you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in a game. So here's the slugging first baseman, Jose Abreu, now. Yes, he'll try and hold off the swing, but this one's in there for strike one. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. This one's also hit well. Deep down the right field line. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. And the screen shows the story right there as that hitting streak will live to see another day. Here's Miguel Sano as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And it's 1 and 1. One run, four hits, and no errors in the game for Toronto. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. Not being very aggressive right now. All even now, two and two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. 
Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. Gardner is there. Two down. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Lourdes Gurriel, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. 0-1 the count. 0-1 count the pitch. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. Two out here and a runner at second. Hit the other way out toward right field. Gardner is there. And that retires the side. Jays answer right back with this solo home run. We're through four, and this is now a two to one ball game. Now at the plate, Gary Sanchez. He's in to get things going here in inning number five. Here comes the first pitch. Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. Some activity out in the bullpen now as a couple of left handers begin to stir. This is lifted out to left. Guriel is there and he makes the catch for the out. So one away here with the bases empty and that'll bring up the switch hitter Aaron Hicks. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Expect the guy on the mound to keep attacking the zone. He wants a quick inning so he won't be nibbling. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. Fifth inning, two to one our score. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Well, he just threw that fastball by him. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third and no swing. It's ball three. Now the three and two pitch. Full count still. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Skied into straightaway right. Long run for the right fielder. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. And that sends DJ LeMahieu into the box. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. Two out, nobody on. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Biggio makes the play, and the inning is over. So the Yanks go one, two, three. They lead it two to one. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Blue Jays to discuss his thoughts on his team's lineup so far. And he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. Okay, thank you, Heidi. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Reese McGuire is at the plate as he looks at ball one. McGuire, a native of Washington, the evergreen state. He's in his fourth season as a major league player. Runs outside, so it goes to 2 0 now. Down low, and the plot thickens here. 3-0. and 
Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. Strike taken as that one catches the outer part of the plate. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. And this is down at the knees, but called a strike. Wow, it's three and two now. Fell behind early in this one 3-0 and has battled back with two quality strikes. Interested to see if he catches a big part of the plate right here or tries to get a nibble. On a line, that's a base hit. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with a single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they could get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. Throw to first is in time for the first out. So striding in, Kevin Biggio, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. 0 oh, and 1 count and the pitch. Off the plate and in, it's a ball and a strike. That's a great take right there. Great pitch recognition to let that one go. Opposite handed, that's coming across the plate. You might think he got a shot to stay inside that one. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. One out and a runner on third. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. That strikeout changes the whole complexion of the inning. He was definitely pitching for it with a runner on third and one out, and he got it. Now it's going to take a hit or something like a wild pitch to get that guy home. Fly ball out to straightaway right field. Gardner on the move. He's got it as the tying run is left on base. Blue Jays held in. Anthony Kay takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Next for New York, Tommy Lastella. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. Two and one after the foul ball there. And they set up away with the fastball, but it misses. Three and one. Swing and a line drive. But this will land foul as he didn't miss by much. Now the payoff pitch home. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. That leadoff walk is a great way to start this inning when you're looking to pad the lead. Could be the beginning of good things here in this half inning. So a runner at first now with nobody out, and that will bring up Glaber Torres. A fastball that gets the inside corner, strike one. And some action now in the Toronto bullpen as a right-hander starts to get loose. Setting him up inside as he swings and misses for strike two. Guess who tipped their hand? They were sitting all over a piece of cheese. He flew open on the front side. And he fouls this one off. Lays off that time, and it's one and two. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Low scoring game thus far. Two to one here in the sixth. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. The three two pitch. This is in the air out to straightaway center. 
Davis has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first down. The relay throw on to first, the double play. Aaron Judge will stand in again as we flash you back here to the fourth inning. This was a two-run home run that was definitely one of the big blows of the ball game to this point. Starts him out with a changeup for a strike. Hey, a changeup can be a pretty good pitch on the first pitch. Kind of slow down a good fastball hitter. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. He would have had to go with the old school Tommy Hawk approach on that one if he wanted to get on top, but he was able to lay off it. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. Almost got him to go around, but instead it's ball three. Great job to keep your hands back and not fully commit. The body was out in front on a great changeup right there, but he was able and strong enough to keep his hands back. Curveball, but a good job to lay off, and he works out the free pass. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving on up where he can really hurt you. Digging in once again, Miguel Andujar. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. And he takes ball one. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. And a fastball runs a bit inside. He's down 2-0 couple strikeouts early in the game but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitters count here he comes on 2 and 0 oh. high in the air out to center field And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. A couple of walks, but no damage. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Leading off the inning, Bo Bichette, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. One ball, one strike to count. The 1-1 one, one home is looked at for ball number two. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Three and one to him now. And this is knocked down on the mound. Recovery throw is not in time, and that'll go down as a painful single. So here's Jose Breyer. Snap throw from the catcher. Nobody out, runner on first. Here's a pop-up now. And Duhar is under it as he puts it away for round number one. One out now in the Toronto sixth inning. And the next to bat will be the big third baseman, Miguel Sano. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. And this one's in the dirt. The tag, and he is safe on a very close play at the bag. Well, the graphic here isn't going to properly show just how far that pitch was from the strike zone. That thing wasn't even close, and I think it made the decision to move up a base pretty easy to make. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Hard ground ball to third. And that's through into left, a base hit. 
And the runner from second will stay put at third, so they're runners at the corners now with one away. Hey, Debro, looks like they might finally have something going after that base hit. First and third, one out, and maybe now they can get something started. Yeah, you could tell the third base coach was going to be aggressive right there, right? A nice read by both him and the base runner to take that extra base and put them in scoring position. They've been, they've been struggling right now to get guys in scoring position. comes the Yankee skipper on his way to the mound and it appears that we've seen the last here in this one of Garrett Cole so as he departs his fate is still up in the air he could stand to win it he could get a no decision he could even be on the hook for the loss if both runners come around to score Zach Britton takes the mound to try to get out of this mess there are two on with only one away Into the box now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. This is line to left, and he has delivered one of the biggest at-bats of the afternoon as he cashes in with a base hit. Yeah, Dan, he's got to feel pretty good about that. Not only did he have a great A-B, first pitch hacking, but he smoked that ball to mix in a ribby knock. Well, he did. He must have had a pretty good plan of attack walking into that batter's box, and he had an idea of the pitch that he was going to get, and boy, he sure turned it loose and buggy with that one. Lourdes Gurriel is in for the third time now as he takes a ball outside. It's 1-0. and From the stretch. Britton is one of those guys that just seems to be at his best under pressure. Runners in scoring position, tight game, tough hitters at the plate. That's when he's at his best. One of the keys, Matty V, to being a good reliever is being able to pitch out of trouble. Trouble that's created by the pitchers before you, or sometimes you even have some mess that you put on yourself. Hey, regardless if it's a mess that he's inherited or one that he's created for himself, this guy makes good pitches when the game's on the line. Tried to get the arms extended, but he couldn't. One and one. Fouled off. And another foul ball. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Blue Jays forced to settle for just the one. We're through six full, and we are tied 2-2. Welcome back. Here's Heidi Watney with the report as we get set for the top of the seventh. Heidi. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far, and he told me he'd like to see a lot more aggressiveness in their at-bats the rest of the game. Too much of the time they're finding themselves in disadvantage counts like 0-2 and 1-2, and that's basically never a formula for success. He said they're getting a lot of strikes to swing at, so the emphasis the rest of the game has to be to jump on those strikes early in the at-bat. Thank you, Heidi. Seventh inning ready to roll, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Giancarlo Stanton. Hit hard on the ground to third. And a sliding effort there, but that ball had eyes, and the leadoff man's on base to start the inning. Hey, guys, this, he's not known for being a singles hitter right here, but that's his second knock of the game. And I'm sure he'll take him, but the guys on the other side of the scorecard might be thinking, we really avoided a worse fate. Standing in now, Brett Gardner in the dirt here, and no advance. It's ball one. Mm -hmm. 
the 1-0 home. Hit on the ground to third. To second for one. On to first, and you can forget about the go-ahead run being on base. He's erased on the double play. Standing in, Gary Sanchez. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Here comes the first pitch. Awfully frustrating for a pitcher. You make a close pitch like that that just barely misses. Whew, that's a tough one to get back. Check swing. No swing, says the home putt umpire. Ball two. And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. I think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a cold strike two. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. The Yanks held in check. Score remains deadlocked at 2-2. Last half of the seventh here, and the big right-handed bat of Randall Grichuk saunters into the batter's box next. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. This one's a strike. It's one and one. And now pitch on the way. Up high. Two and one now. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Here's the pitch. Ah, uh, got him swinging on the split fingered pitch, and that's out number one. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location, so a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Kevin Biggio stands in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball. It's 1-0. Oh. Ball, ball two. In previous meetings with Britain over the years, he's one for three. 3 and 0 oh now. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. 3 and 1 the count now. Now the pitch. Gets him to swing and miss there. 3 and 2. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. That was a big strike out there, guys. The best pitchers have the ability to strike guys out when they really need to. And that second out was really important at this point of the game. Could be something we look back on later when the game's over. Jonathan Davis is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Hicks will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. Score remains two to two. Caleb Berger has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Ready to begin the eighth, and standing in is the veteran outfielder, Aaron Hicks. First pitch on its way. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. Fouled away. Change up, and he ain't buying it. One and two. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and have backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. 
to the plate now. DJ LeMay here. One ball, no strikes, the count. Swung on and missed. One and one. Now some definite signs of life in that Toronto bullpen. Both a lefty and a right-hander begin to throw. Two balls and a strike down to the Yankees' leadoff man. Line hard to the left side. But foul. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this is a foul ball. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And a base hit into left field. So they've got themselves a one out base runner. Here's Tommy LaStella now as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. He's one for two in this one. This one's down to third. A dive and he knocks it down. And the recovery throw is too late and there are two on with one away now. Wow, I'm shocked he even pulled the trigger on that pitch. He might have been fooled right there, but he was able to keep his hands back and scramble a good pitch for a base hit. At the plate, Labor Torres. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind him because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. One ball, no strikes to count. Now the 1 0 is an off speed pitch taken for a ball. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. High in the air down the right field line. And no one will track it down. Sent foul again, and after being way ahead, now it's even at 2 and 2. From the stretch. I don't think he can afford another base runner here. So whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. It's been a really rough day for this lineup. There's really no other way to say it. Not a lot of good scoring opportunities, and when they've had them, like right now, it's just been an uphill battle for them to make anything positive happen. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. And there's a swing and a miss at an off-speed pitch to start him out. Nothing in one. Fastball here, not close, and it's one and one now. Two men are on with two men out. And he'll watch the fastball miss down low. It's two and one. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. And he misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. This is a spot you like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. Now here's a check swing and they appeal down to first. No swing. So that's ball four. He almost got him to commit there as we take another look at it in slow motion. He comes awfully close to breaking that plane, but he was able to hold back. Strong wrist, and he gets a trip to first because of it. Digging in, Miguel Andujar. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Ready with the 0 and 1. And obviously a big spot here with the bases loaded, so he'll 